evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jessica, and my teammates are Cesar, Antonio, and Jorge. We are representing Itesu University, and it's a great honor to address the distinguished audience gathered here to present the results of our research on Industria Españoles. The price of the stock at the moment of our research was 488.24 pesos. We are issuing a whole recommendation with a ceiling target price of 513 and a floor call target price of 451 pesos. After these prices, either up or down, we strongly recommend to take profits and sell. Our floor call target price was adopted from an exhaustive evaluation on company's growth potential combined with a sound analysis of comparable securities. Our highlights are <coughs> positive industry outlook, higher operating performance, market positioning, increased profitability, and the fact that the project pipelines limits growth. We identified that market sentiment has a significant influence on price. The fact that the market believes beyond the theoretical level represents a window of opportunity to execute a contrarian investment strategy. We are offering a ceiling price based on market resistance to suggest a level of tolerance for investors. Now, let me describe the main characteristics of Peñoles. Peñoles is a mining group that explores, extracts, smells, refines, and commercializes non ferrous metals. It is one of the blue chips companies in Mexico, ranked first place worldwide in silver production, and owner of one of the largest non ferrous metallurgical complexes. Its biggest source of income are the sales of refine of gold and silver, which represents 70% of its total sales. 95% of its revenues are denominated in US dollars. Peñoles' long-term strategy consists in continuous investments throughout economical and metal price cycles, in the areas of exploration, expansion of capacity, and operational efficiency. Between 2017 and 2018, Crucial projects will start operations, including San Julián, Piritas Plant, Centauro Extension, Rey de Plata, and Refined Sink Expansion. Let me explain now the industry overview. Market players expect a positive pricing environment for the next five years. We found two reasons that offer a consistent explanation. The first one is a generalized deficit in metals production caused by reduced capital investment for mine exploration between 2011 and 2015. We identified a cyclicity of 5 to 7 years in metals prices. The second reason is a sustainable growth of demand. The yearly sector has and will continue being the primary driver of demand of, pre <coughs> of precious metals, principal source of revenues for Peñoles. Expected population growth in in India and China, combined with the strengthening of the U.S. market, support our conclusion. China is also the principal source of demand of silver and base metals for industrial purposes. The preceding considerations are in line with the expected performance of global economy made by the OECD. Let me describe now the competitive environment for Peñoles. Metals markets are characterized by high entry barriers, low product differentiation, lack of substitutes, and the fact that consumers are price takers. The, long, the company's long-term investment strategy has resulted in a strong asset base and a stable market share in the global demand. When we compare Peñoles to chosen competitors, we identify a better cash cost position and persistently high return on equity. I will present now the results of our financial analysis. Peñoles has been stable in their liquidity. They are also good at generating cash. They, historically, they have been a uh, dividend paying firm. They haven't uh, even stopped paying dividends even when the things happen uh, where they, when, when they haven't had so much uh, revenue. Uh, the current solvency that Peñoles has has granted them an investment grade that can be used 
for uh, poten potentially for debt financing, which could lead eventually to an increase in the gross margin. We expect also that Peñoles with this solvency and uh, the cash generating ability can have a good potential for higher dividend payments. Peñoles, as we can see in their key performance indicators, have done very good against the competitors, except for one small thing, the gross margin. So it's all about the margins. The current strategy for Peñoles is to turn from third-party purchases to in-house production where they are uh, far more efficient and can generate higher margins. The higher metal prices that are expected to have to be in gold and silver, plus the strengthening of the US dollar and cost reduction uh, strategy, can lead to an increased profitability in all the margins. We conduct company valuation using relative valuation and discounted cash flow analysis. We first compare Peñoles to four industry players with similar revenue streams, levels of annual production, and geographic presence. Three industry players with similar diversification in business operations. Two worldwide prominent vendors of precious metals, and Fresnillo, the company's publicly traded subsidiary highly correlated to its stock price. Our fair price calculation was determined using 50-50 weighting procedure for last 12 months enterprise value to revenues and price to tangible book value per share multiples, considering the average discount and premium observed in the same period against the peers median. In the DC valuation part, we first determine an 8.4% weighted average cost of capital and define the following assumptions as the most significant operating drivers. A stable growth rate of mine production, a stable quality of four and concentrate process, higher use of refineries installed capacity for precious metal, metals and a stable use for base metals. For the terminal value, we decided to use a time horizon of 10 years because this period represents the average, the, the company's average mine life of current units and for us it, it represents the long-term economic profit potential for the company. Industry standards, the capital expenditures estimated by the management team to the completion of crucial projects, and a sensitivity analysis focused on volatility in <coughs> precious metals exchange and exchange rate support our conclusion. Finally, using a 50-50 weighting procedure for relative valuation results and this discounted cash flow analysis results, we determine a floral Call target price of 451.47 pesos. The main risks associated to our investment thesis are significant delays in current project pipeline and adverse volatility in precious metals and exchange rate. In summary, Peñoles has a strong financial position. The market is expected to have high prices on gold and silver. There seems to be a uh, signals of a strengthening of the US dollar and Peñoles represents a safe haven stock for defensive investors but the project, the current project pipeline limits their growth that's why we're issuing, issuing a whole recommendation based on two decision points the most likely if Peñoles price soars and reach 514 pesos we recommend to take profits and sell However, on the other hand, if the price drops to 451, we recommend to use a stop loss strategy and limit uh, and sell. Thank you very much for your attention. It will be a pleasure now to answer your questions. of uh, 840 or something like that, right? And uh, when we see the uh, policy rate at 625 or you see the 10-year uh, bond, Mexican year bond at 750, uh, what are your thoughts on that and what, what, what are your cal calculations on that? What are your thoughts? That's one question. And the other one is 
can you elaborate on your uh, uh, return on equity calculations? And uh, you, I, I guess you put a 16% return on equity. Can you elaborate on that? Okay, the first question. We use a five-year five period for Mexican bonds, and we determine or we found a 7.3 percent uh, approximately uh, yield. Regarding the second question, sorry, what, what was the answer? We we use a 7 percent yield re regarding to the bond yield of, of Mexican market with a period of five years. And the second question, um, the you return of WAP of 8.4 8 We use a 7.3 and a 9.1 on Sorry, perhaps we don't have an answer for that question. Uh, we we use we use the uh, 8.4 uh, weighted average cost of capital uh, based on our estimations on the what what Pinales is currently uh, spending to generate their cash. Okay. And on the second question, can you repeat? Yeah, can you elaborate oh, yeah, a little yeah, bit uh, on your uh, return on equity calculations? This is a five-year five average? Yeah, this is, this is a five-year average that we calculated for the you most. Know, 16%. It's comparing a bit against their peer group. Using net income and uh, equity? We used uh, net income and common equity. Yes. Uh, the best return expectation on your return range is about 8% if it goes all the way to 488. So that means about an, uh, in the, for the middle part of the range, the, the return is almost zero, it's around zero, but with the possibility of seeing some losses. So, under this scenario in which the best return expectation is very close to the risk-free rate with a chance of, in the middle of the range of state, the returns in, in current levels may be zero and a possibility of a loss, why did you stay with a whole recommendation and not a sell recommendation as in your paper? The, we estimated that in the following five years, Peñoles uh, will grow at a rate of 11%, as it's shown in the valuation uh, chart. <coughs> but after that period, after five years, we estimated a conservative 1% uh, growth rate. Okay, This is based on the based on, this, on the fact that Peñoles is in a cyclic industry and that right now it is a very good uh, time for them because of the prices of the gold and silver. After that, we, we consider that cycle will, will finish and we estimate that Peñoles will, uh, will not have a greater than 1% uh, growth rate. And on, on, on this regard, what do you, what do you change the or, uh, control what, what, estimate what, into a range estimate for a price? Yeah, we, we used a, a range estimate uh, because Peñoles fundamentals are very good. Uh, they are very strong at cash generating abilities. They have been paying dividends even when the results have not, not gone so well. And the market seems to appreciate this. In the last year, the stock has appreciated uh, Considerably, especially actually it was it was uh, during the U.S. elections, it hit a peak. We uh, took that peak out of of 
for analysis, but the stock is, is maintained within that band. We consider that the real price of the stock is 433 with this method, 451 with the weighted average method, and that is why the, the, we think that the market hasn't realized that, that Peñol is still a good option in, a, in the current geopolitical environment, and that's why uh, it has paid a premium for Peñoles. We think that that premium will end at 514, and that if the price drops below that 451, the market will realize the true value of the stock, and then uh, a trend, uh, a bearish trend will be confirmed. So one method is 433, and the other one is 451. 469. Uh, 4.39? It's because it's on the other corner and it's hard to see that. Yeah, that's... Uh, 4.33? 4.33, one target equalized. Through the DCF analysis method, uh -huh. 4.33, through the relative valuation is 4.69. We use a 50-50% uh, weighted procedure. Okay. So we come to a 451 target price. And the current price of the stock is? Yes. Well, it, on, well on our time. analysis it was 488.24. Right now it's 400. Okay, but I, I go back to my point. Why? If Why a hold recommendation if the target price is below that? Because price? because we think that the, given the current conditions and Peñol's fundamentals, the stock has the ability to uh, reach a peak before uh, going up. That's why we're we're recommending at 514 to take the profits. Uh, question, could you expand a bit on the uh, global expansion opportunity beyond the US? Well, the Trump administration has not showed yet uh, signs of taxing uh, mining exports from Mexico. But this could be a this could be a scenario. We think that if that happens, well, first it's very unlikely because the U.S. is deficitary, has a deficit in mining protection, and they are increasing their demand. Uh, but if this this happens, I think Peñoles through their Brazilian subsidiary will have the ability to uh, to deliver or distribute their products to all over the world. That's, I, that's what we think. However, that, as we said, is limited by the current pipeline. The other thing is that, uh, the other thing that plays in favor of Peñoles is their efficient demand planning. With the letter of intent that they are using to produce, they're uh, almost warranting uh, that they will have the uh, sale made before they extract the minerals. For what kind of portfolios could you suggest to include Peñoles? Peñoles would be recommended for right now, but or with our recommendation, we recommend for aggressive uh, for aggressive stock uh, portfolio. It still has an investment grade, given by given by the, the firms, uh, and that leaves them in position to acquire debt, which could eventually lead to an increase in their margins, and that could be uh, paid by the market. So, but that definitely is not a uh, is is not part of a, the strategy we're proposing is not part of a defensive uh, investment strategy. Otherwise, it would be sell. <laughs> for, for a defensive uh, portfolio, it would be sell. 